Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is at your place in the world. I hope that you're having a good one. Tony here from Bonnie Scotland. Um, and I feel a wee bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm in my jammies. I'll show you, like, these funky things. They're so comfy, by the way. I find it hard to get out of them. Uh, I've not been showered, no. But I was up here in my little man pad having a little jam. And I thought, let's just do the video right now. I'm feeling inspired. And who needs to smell good and be cleanly shaven to play some music, right? So, especially the blues. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. Your very first blues lesson. This was the very first thing that I learned that had anything to do with blues. I didn't really know anything at all at that point. I'd only been playing for a couple of years. Well, for maybe one year, actually. <clears throat> and somebody showed me this and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to show you. And I'm also going to add a little blues lick that you can play at the start or the end of it as well that I use all the time and it's a really fun one to practice and play. People will hear it and think you are great. So uh, let's get right into it. All right. So blues shuffle sounds something like this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our index finger on two on the A string, we've got to go two, two, four, four, right? We're using our index finger and our third finger on the A. And we're going to build on this, right? So we've got two, two, four, four, two, two, all right? Two, two, four, four, two, two. And make sure you do the same rhythm as me, right? You're not going two, two, four, four, two, two. I see people do this and it, it doesn't sound very good, all right? So just try and stick with this rhythm. Two, two, four. Four, two, two. And then we've got to take a middle finger on the low E string, we've got to go three, oh, right? Two, two, four, four, two, two, three, oh, two, two, four, four, two, two, three, oh, two, two, four, four, two, two. Right, so get used to that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just include the open E string. So we're gonna strum both strings while we're doing that with our fingers, right? So it sounds more like this. Now we're playing a 12 bar blues and each bar has a count of four in it, right? Which sounds like this, one, a two, We do, it. we do it four times, there, okay, and then we're going to move our finger down one string and do the exact same thing, all right, with the D and the A string. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... and then we're going to move it back up for another two bars at the top again. One, and two. So you'll have counted we've done eight bars so far. Now what you can also do to make this sound a bit cooler, now you might struggle with this at the start, is kind of mute the strings with your palm here, right? Now just experiment with this, you want to dull the sound a little bit so it sounds a bit more like this. Rather. Um, and once you've done that, right, again, what I'm doing there is I'm just using my palm here while I'm strumming so I can and just experiment with it, you know, the more pressure you've got, the less you'll hear. So you just want to find what's right for you. Okay, so next, uh, after we've done the, those eight bars, I'm going to move on to the last four bars, right? We've got a B7. Okay. Middle finger A second, first finger D first, um, and third finger on your uh, your G in the second. You can put your pinky on the high E as well, but I don't tend to do that. I mean, I'm playing bluesy stuff. I kind of stick to the bass here notes, right? So we're getting B seven, and we're going to go one, a two, a three, a four, a. 
Right, then down to A7, just take this finger off, move these fingers down one string. One, and two, and three, and four, uh. Okay, and then we're going to do a turnaround, right? We've got the... Like that, sounds right. This is pretty cool, right? So, we're going to take our index finger to four on the G, and we're going to put our middle finger on the high E, right? On four. And we're going to go G, E, G, move it down a fret, G, E, G, G, E, G, G, E, G. Alright, now I like to slide into it. Alright, but uh, you don't need to do that, you can just start right up here. Until you get a little bit better at it, alright? Okay. And then you finish it off with a B7 with four again. One, a two, a three, a four. So that last bit, again, we get a B7. One, a two, a three, a four. One, a two, a three, a four. And we start again, all right. <clears throat> so let's go through a little recap of that, right? So first eight bars. One, a two, a three, a four, a 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 one. And that's the 12 bars you'll have counted there. So, yes, that is it. Now we've got to look at a little lick that you can throw in at the start and at the end. But before I forget, uh, it's really important to me to have you guys here. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm climbing up to my first thousand subscribers, so um, every subscriber counts and I celebrate every single person that pushes that button, so it means a lot, thank you very much. And of course, the more people that like the video, the more people that comment, uh, the more it gets spread around the internet and more people see it. Uh, so if you can do that for me, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the, uh, the lick, alright? So, I got this from... Gary Clark Jr. Right, I've um, I think I've included it in a couple of lessons before, but it's a really good one to add into a blues shuffle, and it sounds like this. Sorry, it sounds like this. <laughs> All right, just before you go into a B seven. So what we've got here, we've got on the D string zero one two zero right. And then we're going to come up to the E string, two, one, zero. Alright, zero, one, two, zero, two, one, zero. Three, on the low E. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to slide from one to two, on the, uh, the E get the E open like that, right? And then I'm going to climb into a B7. Zero, one, two. And when we do like this, we are first and mid middle finger. Zero, one, two. We can then just slot into that B7 shape. B7. Alright, so it sounds like this all together. It's so a good way to start the shuffle. It's also something you can throw in at the turnaround part. So when you're uh, at the very end, your last four bars. One, a two, a three, a four, a two, a three, a four. A and that's it. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to go and get a shower 
and get on with my day. I hope you have a fantastic day yourself. Uh, take it easy and I will see you soon with a new lesson.